In Europe alone, more than 57 billion travels take place with inner city public transport. This generates an annual transaction volume of approximately 150 billion euros. The market's volume and user rates establish the future visions of banks and global card companies. In today's cities, there are a variety of metro, buses, light rail systems, ferries, connected with stops, stations, lines, zones and transfer points. There are different profiles of users, including students, elders, pensioners and workers. Therefore, different fee structures and complex systems are used based on the time, location, frequency of use, profile distance and changing zones. These systems are changing from token and paper ticket components to EMV open loop systems at global standards with account-based structures. So, how can we use the contactless bank cards we carry in our wallets for transportation? How can we actualize the transformation on currently established infrastructures with minimum change and cost? The first step is to accept the open loop cards in the terminal, install the security kernel and update the terminal software. In the second step, a central host system is provided. This system is situated on a PCI DSS certificated data center. The current closed loop card system and the AFC system is not affected by this setup. Therefore, there is no need for migration. Next, current automated fare collection and risk management system solutions, if any, are appropriately integrated with global systems. Finally, the contracted bank carries out the integrations in accordance with global regulations. With the exception of PCI DSS, all areas are separated with a special tokenization infrastructure and token numbers are used instead of sensitive data. This way, all of the costs and transformations required for appropriating the entire infrastructure to PCI regulations are removed within the day. Inconsistent or nominally consistent offline transactions take place over the terminals via credit, debit, prepaid cards, HCE, NFC, and wearable devices. These transactions are transmitted to the ETM host system once the terminal becomes online. If the risk management detects a risky situation or when the limit usage thresholds are exceeded, an authorization request is sent to ETM solution. The same flow is carried out throughout the day for all of the passengers' transactions. Data from the bus rides, transfers, information on change zones and used lines are logged by the two systems. At the end of the day, the AFC system uses parameters like the passengers' entire transactions, transfers and different line uses and calculates the final fare and sends it to the ETM system with a settlement request. The ETM system generates the settlement record and submits this record to the associated bank for payment. Because the system directly sends the transactions to the bank and can do on us transmissions, there are no additional fees and different pricing options can be applied by the bank. Non-member banks can conduct transactions by using a chosen default acquirer bank. In this situation, the chosen acquirer bank manages all of the settlement processes. CardTech presents a variable fare compatible solution that allows the use of open loop cards in transportation and saves current systems from strict security regulations. This solution minimizes cost and time allows institutions to perform small upgrades and integrations and adds open-loop acceptance value to the current systems.